Something else now, and a new survey has shown that 80% of Australians seek health advice online and every second person admits to self-diagnosing using the internet. Professional hypochondriac <laughs> Kitty Flanagan joins us now to tell us about the dangers of Dr Google. Kitty? <laughs> Um, Charlie, I'm just going to take my prostate medicine. Oh. I've been having a bit of, a bit of uh, pain in my lower back, and according to the internet, that means I could have an enlarged prostate. Okay. <laughs> Kitty, which I think is up here Kitty, somewhere. Kitty, 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 even without looking at Google, I'm fairly confident you don't have an enlarged prostate. I'm, I'm pretty sure you don't have a prostate of any kind. <laughs> Wow, that sounds pretty serious. Born without a prostate. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're quite right. That means, that means I could have trouble maintaining an erection, so I'm just going to put some Viagra on my shopping list and I'll get to that later. But um, listen, the director of the Australian Medical Association, Dr Robin Napier, says diagnosis via the internet can have devastating consequences. And I agree. I typed in kitty and hacking cough and I was diagnosed with fur balls, and I was pretty devastated. <laughs> um, I've had to change from my usual delicious ocean trout kibble to a special fur ball prevention kibble, which nine out of ten cats agree tastes disgusting. <laughs> now, Kitty, come on, don't be flippant. Self-medicating can be yeah. dangerous. If you go taking Viagra, you don't know what might happen. You might end up with a stiff neck or stiff joints. Stiff something, I don't know. Right? <laughs> sure. Sure, you're quite right, Dave. Um, one should never self-prescribe medication. That's why I advocate that you only use the internet to diagnose yourself, and that way you're always prepared for the worst-case scenario. For example, this pain in my prostate or my neck, um, <laughs> plus the fact that I'm always tired, combined with Sydney having no summer this year, we've barely seen the sun, that means Dr Google and myself were pretty sure I had rickets. <laughs> Polio or neck cancer. Anything you can, it was pretty grim for a while there. So imagine how happy I was when a real doctor told me I'd just slept on it funny and I had a severe case of malingering. <laughs> See, the good thing about Dr Google is he's free. He's very sympathetic and considerate. When I typed in bloating and heartburn last night, Dr Google very kindly suggested I might be pregnant. Thank you. <laughs> who suggested I might be putting too many spicy beef tacos in my cake hole. <laughs> now, the bad thing about Dr Google, it's very easy to get distracted when you're in his office because Dr Facebook is always in there poking you. <laughs> Dr eBay always trying to get you to spend money and Dr YouTube always trying to show you some stupid video of a cat. Well, that's it, I'm done. I feel a little bit giddy, which probably means I have cancer of the giddy gland. But if I fall through, I'll see you next week. <laughs> Again, and I wish you a, a speedy recovery. Don't go anywhere. We're going to be back in a tick.